Hey guys, Joey Blue here today. Um, I want to follow up doing a little tutorial here on the different windowing functions. And so what I want to do today is get the year to date function so we can see how that works using the partition by. So we haven't really used that yet. Um, the select query that you're seeing on the screen is one left over from the last video. If you haven't seen that, you can go take a look at that. Um, and what I want to do today, so let's run what we stopped with last time. So last time we had the prior day profit that we looked at. So like when we look at the 2nd of January 2013, we have 80,000 profit and we have um, the $14,000 profit from January 1st. So this time what I want to do is I want to create some kind of running total. And we want to do it based off of month and off of year. So what I'm going to do is add a couple columns here so that we can see um, what the month and years look like. So if I drop those in here, um, all I'm going to do is basically grab the year off the invoice date. And then I want to grab the month off the invoice date. Let's run that. So now you can see we've got year of 2013, we got month one. So to make this work, um, the next thing I want to do is introduce something called the partition by. So here in the last video, we've shown that we can order by the invoice date. And if I, instead of lagging, let's go ahead and um, put a sum in there. And we don't need the one when we do that. So now all we've done is sum. And so what this is doing is summing from the beginning of time. So on the first row, we have the 14,000 and then the prior date, which is now the, um, the sum of profit. So now it is gonna just keep a running total. But we need those to reset. Um, and first I'd like to reset it by month. In order to do that, all we have to do is put in this new clause called partition by, and then I'm going to grab this month up here that I'm partitioning by. And drop it in there. So now this is going to, every time we switch over to a new month, we should get reset. So let's scroll down here and kind of see how that looks. And so as we're going through here, you can take a look at the actual date key. So we're on the 19th. I'm going to scroll all the way down. We're on the 30th, 31st, and then it reset. So the partition by is all you need, and now the month will reset every time you hit a new month. And that's what's going on here. And so I like that. That's perfect. So that's the sum. Basically what we call that is month to date. Now if we want to do a year to date one also we can simply copy that column and paste it back in and instead of partitioning, partitioning by month we just grab this year here drop it into the partition and run it. And so now we're partitioned by the year so I guess I need to go ahead and say, call this year to date. And as we scroll down, if I get all the way to 2014, so you can see we're accumulating here, it's getting kind of big. And this is the switch over. So this is 2013 month to date, and then we switched over and it reset. So one thing that's very interesting here is you're looking at the month to date and it did not um, reset. So what is going on there? Well, basically I'm only partitioning by month and that's not enough. Um, I need to partition by year and month. So I'm gonna take our year function, drop it in there, put a comma. And now on the month to date, I'm partitioning by year and by month. So let's run that one more time here. I'm gonna scroll down, see if I can get to the switch over from 2014, 2013 to 2014. And so now these have all reset for the first day of the month. 
and it starts accumulating. So for January, the year to date and month to date should be the same. And then when we hit over to February, the month to date should switch, which it did, and the year to date keeps on going. So that's the partition by. Um, hopefully that's helpful to you. You can use other functions here. You don't just have to use sum. You can use average and different things like that. Um, but overall, these windowing functions are really, really helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know by posting a comment below. Um, and uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed.